the all levels are equal pattern. What does that mean? So, given any storage level X in a storage hierarchy, be it L1, L2, L3, main memory, disk, tape, whatever, any data layout, data structure, or algorithm Y. If Y solves a problem on storage level X, then Y is likely to work for other storage levels as well. So, in other words, whatever technique is being used on one particular level is super likely to work for other storage levels as well. If you know that a particular replacement strategy works well on L3, this replacement strategy is super likely to work well for main memory, for disk, or for tape as well. It doesn't have to, but it's super likely that it works then for different levels of the storage hierarchy as well. Well, there's a flip side to that, and that is, of course, in a modern computer architecture, there are things that you can't change. For example, which data is being loaded into L2 or L1, this is defined by the hardware. You can't change that. Those are algorithms implemented on the specific hardware. So that's why I wrote hardware here in between. For example, from main memory to L3 or from L3 to L2 and L1, this is all controlled by hardware and you can't change anything about that. However, if it comes to hard disk and main memory, this is controlled by software. And this may be very different software components. So the software is usually the operating system controlling the operating system, or it can also be the database system. Database system. Yeah. These two software components control which part of the disk is loaded into main memory. However, the techniques that are being used by those different systems and by the hardware is very, very similar. We will revisit that many times throughout this lecture. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. So if you want to see more database videos, be it in English or in German, take a look at my website datenbankenlernen.de. It has a couple of English and German videos. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jens Did, or you look at our website, infosys.uni-silent.de. See you there.